was all a lie. Macros sold us a vision he never believed in. He would destroy us. We just didn't know it yet. We were warriors, but he turned us against each other. Brother against brother. And despite all the maneuvers and all the strategy, in the end, it was going to be either me or him. Macros was the better warrior that day. He left me for dead, but I survived. Macros thinks the war is over, but our fight has just begun. This won't be easy. They've got a thousand men in there defending her. If anyone can get in there, Oren can. You understand how important this mission is. The weapon we need is inside this temple. Sir! You can count on us. You two cover the back. I'll take the front. Welcome to Godfall. Wow. I've been uh, missing playing a good action role-playing game for a while now. And uh, as I was just randomly looking for games, this game most definitely caught my eye. I've always been very fascinated and interested in ancient mythologies, and this game seems to have been heavily inspired by several of those. Uh, Godfall is a brand new game at the time of this recording. It released on the uh, 12th of November 2020, uh, both for the uh, PlayStation 5 and for P PC. Uh, and that would be Epic Games for the latter, since Sony and so forth. And handily enough, I just received and installed my new NVIDIA RTX 3080 yesterday, so we all get to enjoy this game's absolutely breathtaking visuals together, because wow. This is just amazing. I have played the game a little bit, and I should warn you all right away that this is not going to be a nice and easy experience from what I have been able to tell so far. This game is hard, and fun, and rewarding. More or less all the things that you'd expect from a game that takes inspiration from games like God of War, the Dark Soul games, and so forth. But instead of me babbling away, as I have a tendency to use at the beginning of uh, a new series, let's just... Uh, Go ahead and explore the world. So in a typical uh, 
action role playing game sense, you can expect that we can destroy these urns. Uh, I'm not going to do that too much. We get some items from them. Uh, the most important one being the health. It's sluggish. Face note. You can aim at a blue active face note. Uh, as you could probably see before this came up, it was red. Now it becomes active. And we can phase up to it. And here we get to fight some crystal callers. Um, so as I was saying, the main thing that I want to take from urns would be the um, the green things, which is life. Let's uh, take out this guy. You have a takeout mechanism. You can also target lock enemies using the um, the uh, middle mouse button. Those blue things there seems to be some kind of currency. Electrum. I have absolutely no idea uh, what it's used for yet. Uh, down here there's things happening. You also have a shield, but I don't get to use that yet. So I'm not sure... Anything of interest down here? Most likely not. There's also another handy uh, feature that if you run for a certain amount of time, that happens. So you run faster. Bounce over gaps with C. I think graphics Sir, is just you're still injured. Doesn't matter. We have a job to do. The graphics is just stunning. Oh, I could have taken that down without fighting. I don't think I've ever seen graphics like this on PC. So, uh, for those of you who watched me play uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, you know how good I am at uh, doing, uh, well, things like evasion. Then again, it's not too difficult in this game. Uh, having the space key being the evade key certainly helps. So, life stones, uh, you can press R to restore health. Um, your lifestone has three charges, refilling whenever you pick up excess green health globes. And those are the green stuff that I'm referring to from the... Uh, apologies for... I had to adjust the microphone boom. For, um, from the uh, urns. I occasionally have to collect those. And you can find health, green health globes from defeated enemies, but you can also find them in the urns. I have discovered. Uh, let's restore health. Uh, as soon as we find... One of those um, life globes. Uh, we should uh, get back the. Uh, well, if there is any life globe here, I don't think them. Mm, we can check these. No, doesn't appear to be any life globes here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as long as you're at full health, the life globe will instead refill one of she your. Won't want to leave the temple, Orin. I know. It will instead refill one of your uh, charges. Now, these protectors have to be taken down before the others, I have noticed, because otherwise they will um, do what their name says, protect the others, so you can't damage them. Here we go. And apparently we are supposed to grab this shield. Now we got the shield. I have no idea if we are going to get uh, firearms in the game. 
I've only played like five levels, so I basically completed the introduction area, the one that we're in now, and went a little bit into the next area, but not too much. Because I didn't want to spoil. I just wanted to figure out, is this game viable for recording or not? And uh, yes, I very much think it is. I hope you will agree. And there's a protector over there. Now, we can throw the shield. We have to go for the protector first and foremost. Ah, oh, we can take him out. That makes life a little bit easier here. Ah. Stop that. But yes, this game is definitely very much uh, a regular... Um, well, not regular, I should say, because this is anything but regular. Yeah, stop that. Um, regular in the sense that it has the mechanics you'd expect, namely uh, action uh, role-playing, but its um, graphics, the storyline so far seems really good. The graphics are beyond description. I don't know if it's Unreal Engine 4 or if it is actually Unreal Engine 5. Since it is developed for PlayStation 5, there is a very good chance that this might actually be Unreal Engine 5. Doing the takedowns, by the way, also infers some bonuses uh, when you have um, gotten skills. Red power attacks cannot be parried or blocked and always knock you down. Evade them. Yeah, I'm good at that. Oh, I evaded. There's a chest. Oh, right. Yeah, <clears throat> this ought to be fun. Hello. Yeah. Um, expect me to potentially have to do this battle over again. This guy is absolutely nasty. And the uh, basic skill set that we are dealt from the beginning of the game doesn't really make it any easier. Oop. Because we do get better skills, especially for parrying and blocking later on. No, I don't want to play with you there. Oh, I did it. was unexpected. Hello, Orin. 
I knew I'd see you again someday. And you know why I'm here. Oh, and yes, for anyone who might be curious, I am playing this with mouse and keyboard. I do not use controllers. We leveled up! So a fair warning that I should issue is that whenever I'm focused, I will probably not be talking. Okay, now let's have a look at our attributes. We have Might, which uh, to everyone's surprise improves your weapon damage. Vitality, which improves our max health. Not sure why they don't have that in the correct order. And of course, spirit that improves our life stone recovery and our ability damage. We start out with 40 in each, and um, we don't have any other equipment than the one that we start with. But we do now get a skill combat skill grid. Uh, spend skill points to unlock new combat skills. You can always reallocate skill points later, which is something that I'm very happy about. We have weapon techniques. Uh, that gives us the ability to perform northern technique and southern technique using E and one of the mouse buttons. We will be getting that. Um, then we have the uh, finesse, which makes evading a little bit easier because then you can do evasive slides. Polarity attacks. You can charge these up by hitting enemies with your weapon. When they are fully charged, swap weapons to unleash a shockwave and boost your weapons damage by 20% for 30 seconds. And finally, you can improve your uh, shield throw, uh, can make it into an arcing shield throw that hits all enemies along its trajectory. We'll be getting finesse though, for my sanity's sake. But that works very simple, like I can skip around a little bit more. Can I take a takedown on this thing? No. Oh, and there are combos as well. So if you do certain attacks in order, you will be doing combos. How many of you are there? There we go. Now, let's uh, open this chest. Okay, nothing item-wise interesting in here. Uh, this chest. Okay, so that big globe there, that's an item. The other one is monies. Morph stones are unidentified loot and appear in five different rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, Epic and Legendary. I don't know what happened uh, in the last game, because I think the game glitched out by giving me a Legendary weapon uh, within this area, so <laughs> that might have made things a little bit easier for me than they were supposed to be. But um, I don't expect the same to happen this time, strangely enough. The monolith is a weapon like no other. It has the power to reshape reality. And your brother controls it for now he nearly has the power of a god didn't see this when i played earlier I'm wondering 
if this might be uh, I'm almost certain that this is the Unreal Engine uh, 5 because some of these models look very much like the technical demo that we uh, saw for those of you who have seen that of uh, the Unreal 5 engine like those big statues got conviction I think that's uh, yeah jewel blades uh, so I want to change that hammer with the jewel blades because I the hammer is so slow but for the most part I find that I enjoy having the long sword weapon As you saw, I went directly for the Guardian again. And now I need a green orb. Let's see. Thank you. The odds are greatly against you. Such a comforting voice. Well, the voice actor is good, but and I mean. Discuss this when I get there. What I mean is that she doesn't really seem very um, twenty might um, positive to our chances. I might have to readjust my um, noise gate because, or well, not the noise gate, the um, compressor, because I see that my voice goes into the red. Which they're not supposed to do. At least not max it out. Ah, the bronze animus. Those things are It can be annoying. But then again I got a takedown on him, so that was good. The uh, run streak stops if you get um, if you start strafing. By the way, ah, adjudicator, stop that! here. Pope's Lament. Uh, that's a new weapon. What does that do? I usually just like to go watch them here. Uncommon jewel blades. Um, let's uh, equip those. Can easily switch weapons with the um, mouse wheel. I strafe, I lose the run streak. Why doesn't the um, space bar help me strafe? Oh, I was defeated. Maybe pay more attention to my health. Let's try that again. a bit better. Oh, there's a protector in the behind there. You can see the blue arc there. He's protecting that guy.
Oh, actually does the damage as well. Yeah, I'm not very happy with the um, dual blades. I presume they do more damage than the uh, long sword, uh, as you'd expect dual wielding to do. But uh, it seems you get less defense. Can I find a green life orb, please? No, apparently I cannot. There's a bronze animus. Two of them, actually. Oh, they're slow, though. But that helps. Appears to be the correct way, though. Aha. Uh -huh. Why isn't my life uh, regeneration thingy increasing? It should say th three, I thought. Apparently not. Okay, well, let's go down here then. Soul Shatter. Use left mouse button to convert a portion of the enemy's health into Soul Shatter Builder. And use right mouse button to deal Soul Shatter damage equal to the enemy's Soul Shatter Build-up. So for these guys, you need to... Um, you see the white around their health? That's the build-up of Soul Shatter. And some enemies can only be uh, damaged by that. Like these. Level three. There should be another one. Oh. Yeah, the other one is over there. So let's take a look at this chest. Two green items. A life stone and an uncommon warhammer. Well, I'm not really too interested in the warhammer, but I am interested in the life stone. We go to 64 health recovery and we also get 40% breach damage. I think breach damage belongs to the hammers. Yeah. The uh, jewel blades go with polarity attacks, it would seem. At least this one does. The longsword? I have no idea. I don't remember. Can uh, show the um, the warhammer as well. It makes you my attacks mightily slow. But they do a lot of damage. That's for sure. Okay, well. That was better than I expected. Uh, but I did get an uncommon longsword. So we will be equipping that. This does weapon technique charge speed. Good, because weapon techniques, I like them. We got another one of these um, shatter plates. Skills. Now, we could go another on finesse, but I don't think we'll do that. Instead, I think we will go with the weapon techniques so that I can do the uh, northern and southern techniques because those do quite a bit of damage. Did I get everything here? So it would seem. Uh, 
That's the northern technique. Which is the left mouse button. Whereas the uh, southern technique does this. No. This. Now I have to recharge that uh, technique bar again, but that's fine. I don't understand why I don't get the uh, the additional uh, health recharge thing. Okay, let's go destroy some urns. There are plenty of them around here. Surely some of them must have life. Orbs. Didn't used to be this hard to find the green orbs. Okay, there we go. Now I'm up to three, so I'm happy. Q to parry, press right before an incoming enemy attack, and a successful parry leaves the enemy vulnerable for a short time. And again, soldiers just attacking with that. Who needs parrying? Of course, that's not completely serious, because we, we are going to need parrying, trust me. Chest here. I have no idea what these money uh, thingies are for. Then again, I haven't played that far, so I guess it'll come app be become apparent in time. Is that a bronze animus as well? It is. Well, didn't survive. Hello. Ow. You know what? I don't think I want you behind me. I have no idea why those are there. Maybe to make the staircase ascension quicker. Oh, crap, there's a card in here. Protector. Now I have that 
thing behind me. Special. <laughs> and then we can stand there and take the punishment. Take that. Thank you. And down here there's a chest. I didn't find this the last time. Any money though. I, mean, I don't know what I need the money for. I'm at a hard time being excited about finding money. How did you expect me to react, Arn? I have a duty to stop him. Yes, thank you. I can be very happy about taking out an honor guard that easily because those are not fun when they start dealing out damage. Would you stop shooting at me? And a chest. Did we get any items? Just another shatter plate. Becomes a god, and the world as we know it will end. I fear you may be right. I don't want you to protect anyone, so would you just lie down? Thank you. Ow. So, oh, I'll take the life the globe because I'm low on health. These sounds here, in addition to. Uh... Oh, right, we're here. Sunflare orb. Survive until the countdown expires. Defeat as many enemies as possible to collect better rewards. But of course it has to be Judicator. And I really should... I don't want you to start messing with me as well. Take out the easy one first. What? Okay, so that didn't go too badly, too well either. We get a chest. With yay money. Can we have some health? I would be deeply appreciative if I could get some health. No. Wow, 
I guess we'll just make do with that. Oh, no, we won't. There, we found one. Thank you. Now we get to go into the portal. Your odds are a thousand to one. But I'll help you. On one condition. What is it? You won't like it, Oren. Well... The Guardian. Perilous attack. Parry a perilous attack to stun an enemy for a long duration. Beware, blocking a perilous attack will stagger and make you vulnerable to additional attack. This guy has two bars. There. Oh, he's doing that again? Okay. Ow. Stop doing that. Oh, that was in the nick of time that I managed to put that re uh, health potion thingy. Oh, we shut down. Good. Now, please just die. Thank you. Ouch. Oh, I'm just casually... What are you on about, robot? Oh, let's take your brain. And then stick it inside my heart. That seems like a good idea. And it looks like it's time for a hastily departure. Not sure what the cue call of that was, but... Um...
And at that note, I think it is time to end this episode, and we will explore this place in the next one. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, game and that you will be following this series together with me. Uh, do feel free to leave any questions and or comments in the comment section as per usual. So thank you all so much for joining me and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.